My name is Sasu Laukkonen. I'm head chef um, and partner in restaurant Aura in Helsinki. We're less mechanical nowadays. We need to be thinking much more. A big change from earlier because we're, we're, we're taught to mechanically produce food as the head chef wants, but now the requirements are much more towards needing to use the brain to analyze, to think, because kitchen teams are smaller. Responsibilities, of course, um, the need of zero waste, the need of being able to handle ingredients for the best, um, but also responsibilities for nutrition, because if we use a package of butter per person a day for cooking, I mean, it's not very responsible, is it? So, but also the demand of, uh, of making desserts without using a lot of sugar. I'd say courses without using a lot of salt. But also being responsible to the producers, to the farmers, to use what they grow and not to let stuff rot in their, uh, in their uh, storage places. So, it's, uh, I think it's, it's the responsibility is towards the guests, but also towards the producers. You're going to have to have cooking, well, skills for cooking, but also very social. Because when the team becomes smaller, which is the line of where it's going right now, you're, you need to be sort of aware about everything. and You need to be contacting each other relentlessly, just keeping up um, knowledge. But also the skills for human relations with clients, also human relations with uh, your farmers, your producers. There's so much technical cooking going on in like the the approach to ingredients is not based on the ingredient it's based on what you want the end result to be so more ingredient based real cooking but then also the importance in um, let's say in pastry um, the skills of being able to make something that's very everyone knows what it is like ice cream but maybe making it without eggs or with less sugar or using uh, things that are more suitable for the requirements of uh, nutrition nowadays. I think the, the basics from school, of course, you know, to understand how to be in a kitchen, how to maybe even move in a kitchen or understand the business that there are long days and you need to be aware of what you're doing, but also be talented in cooking and be able to serve people fine. But then all of the other sort of small strands that go about I think they will be the most challenging. I can't say what happens after 22, but I can say what I hope would happen after 22. Uh, the freshest, best possible ingredients, uh, the best possible service, best possible connective um, work. Well, now we need to remember there, there are countries, there are cities and countries who really act. Sustainability can be a great subject to talk about right now, responsibility on the sustainable level can be really great to talk about right now everyone's like oh sustainable sustainable but do you really do it do you do it at home if you do it at work do you do it at home combination of two things if your newcomer cook has passion which is the most important thing in this business i think if there's one thing that they really need is to to understand that there's a huge border between here so to kind of find a common ground otherwise we just have clash 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 and then we find ourselves in a place where we have restaurants with no workers i think, I think just common sense would be like maybe the best thing ever to have if something doesn't feel right <laughs> just get out of there well this is this might be one of my favorites because there's already been a change where the cooks who are in the kitchen cooking and murmur, murmur, murmur behind closed doors, that's already opened. That's one thing. But uh, the work processes, if you think of the cooking side of things, kind of crossed this already. If we're going towards something now, I think it would be massively beautiful for the young cooks who enter the business to see the breakthrough of all of this. I think it's pretty interesting because the more we go back to cooking the more flavor we generate when you're already in the kitchen and then the, the kitchen is open you're connecting to the clients you're talking to your guests so we're actually going from just cooking to also cooking customer service and doing the business but i do see a possibility in automation in in many ways if you're dealing with fast food or if you're dealing with food that could be made by hand but it's just not served um 3D printing, yes, for sure. It's just a really simple way of getting the shape that you want. But still, if you cook badly, it doesn't help anything. I, I don't think it's going to be that big a thing. Thank you. Thank you.